The current scientific consensus believes that the Earth is about 4.54 billion years old. And Google Maps' consensus believes that Mount Bachelor is about 22 miles that way. For this little that I know, I'm going to drive 22 miles to Mount Bachelor and metaphorically go back in time 4.54 billion years. I'm now going to drive from the parking lot at Mount Bachelor, where the Earth has just formed, and then drive forward in time back to Bend, and we'll stop along the way to reveal some highlights of Earth's history. Okay, quick disclaimer. Now, all distances and times are approximate. And while I know every religion on Earth has its own Earth's creation story, for this particular exercise, I'm going to use science. Shalom, shalom, and namaste. The math says that for every inch I move, I'm going ahead 3.3 million years. And for every mile I drive, I go ahead in time about 260 million years. Because 4.54 billion divided by 22 is 260,363,636. But who's counting? All right, first stop is dead ahead. We're 2.7 miles from Mount Bachelor and 4 billion years back in time. This is when the first evidence of oceans show up and the Earth's crust begins to cool. Next up, we're heading just down the geological road of about 200 million years to the Sun River turnoff. This is where life begins, but it doesn't walk and it doesn't talk. They are simple, single-celled organisms like bacteria. Now, while single-celled organisms don't sound like much, even with the James Webb Space Telescope looking clear back towards the beginning of our universe, we have yet to find a single planet out of trillions with a single, single-celled organism. We've now made it to Winoga Snow Park, a place where you can cross-country ski with your dog. And did you know that the average sled dog processes oxygen at a rate more than six times that of an average human? And why do I bring this up? Because it's here, 11 miles from Bend and 2.5 billion years ago, that cyanobacteria started producing oxygen, forever changing Mother Earth. Ah, and thank you, cyanobacteria. At 6.8 miles from Bend and roughly a billion years down the road, we see the first complex cells with nuclei appear. We're now about three miles from Bend. We're on the outskirts of Widgee Creek Golf Course and Good Dog Dog Park, about 600 million years from present day. This is when the Cambrian Explosion happened, in which life rapidly diversified and most of the major animal groups that we know of emerged. Oh, but not dogs. Dogs are believed to have appeared about 30,000 years before present day, which is still quite a ways down the road. We're now less than a mile from Bend, or about 66 million years, and the masters of the Earth are dinosaurs, until a gigantic space rock slammed into the Earth off the Yucatan Peninsula and put an end to their reign. Oh, one little piece of trivia that most people don't think about is that dinosaurs ruled the Earth for 150 million years, or about 60 times longer than humans thus far. Okay, this is where it gets weird. Now, in order to get to the point in our timeline where we first see humans, I need to get less than an inch away from this sign in order to reach present day. But even at one inch, we're still about 2.5 million years in the past. It's at eight thousandths of an inch, or right about here, about 10,000 years ago, that human civilization begins to flourish. Now, if all of this makes you feel small, that's great. Trust me, as somebody who has studied the enormity of the universe his entire life, the more you begin to feel small, your troubles follow suit. And hey, you might as well enjoy the ride. For Central Oregon Daily News, I'm weather dork, space geek, and science nerd, Scott Elmas.